it's unboxing time again and this time I didn't buy myself a toy so much as I usually do I bought something to solve a problem confession time I have dismal pathetic awful plating skills okay I'm not quite that bad but there are times like when I plate spaghetti when I think the only difference between the food that's on the plate and any food that fell on the floor is that one of the one of those is on a plate um, I am embarrassed sometimes by my plating skills so I looked at some videos on YouTube and one of the recommendations for plating spaghetti is to get a kitchen carving fork and that's what I ordered and we're going to unbox this and I'm going to demonstrate it today I have some water heating on the stove I'm going to cook some spaghetti and plate it along with some sauce and so forth so let's open up the box so here's my carving fork kitchen carving fork um, it's the brand name is Kakamono K-A-K-A-M-O-N-O -K -O -O, Kakamono Chef Pro stainless steel I got it from Amazon and there were a couple of reasons why I chose this one decent price too it wasn't expensive one was the handle I like this handle it's a three rivet uh, full tine handle which matches my better cooking knives plastic bag little cardboard protector the other thing I liked about it is that the tines are straight bring them up close to the camera hopefully they're not out of focus the tines are straight rather than flaring outward I got to thinking if I wrap spaghetti around those tines will I be able to slide it off if they flared outwards these are straight they're parallel and this has a little plastic vinyl tube it's already poking out because these tines are so sharp this little thing gives me an idea hold on a sec I got to go out to the shed I have in my shed some plastic tubing this is it's Watts brand I bought this at Home Depot polyethylene tubing the label says 3 8 inch outside diameter 1 quarter inch inside diameter that's like 9.5 millimeters by 6.9 millimeters and let's see I need to cut off I'll start from this end a piece I don't know about that says I'm going to cut off two of them so I cut off two pieces of tubing that should be enough to fit on these tines without the point coming out see it's a little bit longer than the tine I don't care that they curve and that way it'll protect those points I won't stab myself can I repackage it yeah it goes in there it's a little tight <laughs> will it go back in the plastic will it go back in the box so when I'm not using it I got a way to store it away nicely and I can get rid of this little vinyl tube I don't need that okay um, as I said I've got some water heating on the stove so as soon as that comes to the boil I'm going to start cooking some spaghetti and then we'll test this thing okay I've got my pasta cooked here I use one of my dayware uh, cookware pans okay you can't let go of it I like the rounded handle by the way because it's going to make it easier I thought to twist this around rather than being a big clumsy difficult handle okay I've got my pasta twirled and I'm going to use a spoon I got a big spoon here to lift this out of the pan and put it on the plate oh, look at that and then what I've got I cooked 
um, if I can get this onto the fork. I cooked an Italian sausage in the sauce. And I cut it up. But I'm going to be a little bit fussy because I can be. Okay, I'm done with this. And let's see, I can use the same spoon for the sauce. Spoon some of that. And I cooked the sausage in the sauce. So the sauce has some of the flavoring of that Italian sausage in it. You can either use some shredded cheese, this is Romano, or if you want to get a little fancier, you can use some pieces of, some slices of Romano or Parmesan cheese. I'm going to kind of have that stick up in a way so it gives me more of a three-dimensional look. And then I went out to the garden. I got a little bit of my um, fresh basil. My basil, it's winter time, so my basil is just barely thriving, barely surviving out there. So these are little sprigs of basil, like maybe three or four leaves per sprig. I've seen some videos where people put these on with a pair of tweezers. But I gotta say that I'm not aiming for a Michelin three-star Michelin plating here. I just want it to look like it's something I don't have to be embarrassed about. That's enough. How does that look? Does that look appetizing? Does it look like it fell on the floor? <laughs> I tell people sometimes this looks like I drove over it with my SUV. Okay, um, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, this is going to be a late dinner for me. I'm, no reason to do the tasting video part of it. Um, although I think you can imagine how good that's going to taste because look how good it looks. But this thing works. Should clean up pretty well. Um, you saw me use it. So there you have it. I used my fork. <laughs> it worked really well. I'm really pleased with how that plate of food looks. Another reason why I, I'm not going to um, taste it in the video is I have a problem with spaghetti. It's like almost every time I eat spaghetti, I get sauce on me. I'm going to have to take a towel and put a towel around me in order to eat this. Um, I won't order spaghetti in a restaurant. <laughs> because I don't want to get any on me. Anyways, this is my late dinner. I'm pleased with my fork. It worked really, really well. So thanks for watching.